Well, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, this is Brother West. This is Brother West coming to you. Coming to you again. Um, I want to say something quickly, and I want to say something um, brief if I can. Give me about maybe five to seven minutes. And what I want to do is I want you to get you to notice something. Get you to. Uh, I want to uh, make sure that you're aware of something. And that is patterns. Patterns. The Bible says we grow from faith to faith and glory to glory. There's a, there, there are steps. There's a system. Those are patterns uh, and stages that we must go through in order to get what it is that God wants us to have. And so the thing about that, we need to just basically just, we face the things that we face. If you notice, our life is like patterns. If you notice with dating, it's like, you know, it's a cycle. We we we, we find ourselves dating the same type of personality, the same type of person. When it comes to jobs, when it comes to people we meet, when it comes to how we think, the places we go, the things that we do, de- uh, things that we do, they're all patterns. They're all patterns. It's, you just think about it. We wake up in the morning. We basically do the same thing every day. We we wake up. We we put our, our shoes on a certain way. We put our clothes on a certain way. We brush our teeth. Uh, we take a shower. Uh, we walk through the house. We get us something to eat. Those are all patterns. You know, we do the same thing. And those patterns, what we do is a behavior. And those behaviors shape the way we think, how we feel, how we process. The same thing with personalities, with relationships, with patterns. Also with spiritual wickedness, with warfare, the things that we go through. The Bible says that the suffering of this world is not glory uh, not the suffering of this life is not worthy to be compared compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us so from that scripture it lets me know that through my suffering of this world it's going to reveal or it's going to bring forth already in us a glory a glory is an expression it's an expression from the relationship that we have with God glory is uh God's glory is his weighty matter it's his essence it's who he is the bible says that a father is a children's glory so in other words the standard that standard um the mass the net worth and so what's happening is that the more we suffer we go through what we go through what comes out of us is god's net worth what comes out of us is god's mind revelation knowledge strength um understanding what he told Apostle Paul. He said that I'm going to glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ might rest upon him. So in his infirmities, in his infliction, God's power is activated. Just know that when you're going through what you're going through, God's power is there to become activated. But it's up to you to recognize the test and recognize the trigger and recognize what's happening. Oftentimes, when you're your most, the most under most, the most for severe pressure is usually where people, they can handle it. They can't think clear. They can't process things at that place where everything is, everything is just, uh, just a, a time schedule. Everything is just touch and go. Everything is pressurized. Everything is just, um, just pressure, full of pressure, full of emotion, uh, full of, uh, just, it's all that is there. And so at that, cl- at that place, most of the time, people can't handle it. But at that place where you become most pressured, most pressured, or also at that place where you become more angry or anger, the Bible tells us to be angry, but don't sin not. See, anger is not an emotion, but it's a substitute motion. Anger is energy. At that place where you get to a place where you backed up against the wall, where your back is against the wall, that's where God wants you to be because when you at your, your back against the wall, that's when what's in you will come out. You'll fight. The, the fight in you, that anointing in you, that authority in you. God wants you to um, channel that particular feeling, channel that particular moment, that moment where you're under, you're under duress and something in you is under attack. And from you being under attack, you're about to give your mind. You're about to express yourself back to the devil. You're, you, 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 you're, you're a reckless abandoned with prayer and fasting. It's like you're desperate. And because you're desperate, you're bringing out a desperate word. You're bringing out a desperate anointing. At that place, 
That's what God wants you to capture and channel at that place where you feel desperate, that anointing, that determination, that power, um, that zeal, that concentration. See, that's also where God is getting you to when you're at a place where you're so pressure and full of so much pressure where you concentrate. Because when you concentrate, when you get to a place where you don't care, you, you're going to, everything in you is going to come out. And so God, in recognizing your pattern is to recognize every time, if you notice that every season, every now and then, like at like the beginning of the year, there's a certain test that, that happens. You, you just look at it. Just every year, you, you say, for example, you sign a, a mortgage or you sign a rent, rentals agreement, maybe in February. You, so you know in February or the next year, you're going to have to renew. So that's a certain pattern. Every year, you have to renew certain things with your car. You have to do emissions. You have to do certain things. Those are patterns. So you know that at the end of the year, sp specifically in Atlanta, you have to do, around your birthday, you have to do emissions where it, text, it checks your your car where it doesn't release a certain amount of pollution. So you know you got to get that check. So before you get that check, make sure that everything is repaired. So because when because when everything is repaired, so when you go and get the emission, check, uh, emission uh, test, you know that everything is going to be okay. The same thing with spiritual warfare and patterns. You know the adversary is fighting you a certain way. You know your weaknesses. You know your strength. You know if you got a pattern with your heart. You got a pattern with love. You got a pattern because you're lonely. And you know that because you're lonely or you, or, or you want companionship, you know oftentimes you're longing to be with someone. So you know your trigger and you know your pattern. So you're careful of that, that your heart. You're careful of the people that you go around because if you go around the wrong person, you know that your heart might be given to them, but they might not be the one that you need to give your heart to. And so in recognizing your pattern, it's just recognizing stages, recognizing just, you know, there's certain things that set you off, certain things that trigger you, certain things that'll make you backslide or certain things that'll make you fall. You know, these patterns, you know, these triggers, you know, that when those things come, you know, there's a test there. And every time it seems like that particular test, it hides itself in a different form. But the but the warfare itself is similar. The sound, the the wind is similar. And so in you recognizing that, recognize it and win from it. Get the victory from it. Oftentimes, many people find themselves in the same test is because you keep not recognizing the same warfare. When you recognize the same warfare, then when you recognize it, you deal with it, then you pass the test. The way you pass your test is by recognizing the pattern, the attack. Why keep falling in that same situation? Recognize that there's certain things that trigger you from doing certain things. Certain hurts, certain rejections trigger you to uh, eat certain foods. It triggers you to go in and get with certain women and get with certain men or going to the clubs. There's certain things that trigger that. So, you know, if certain things trigger that, when it happens, recognize that pattern and do something different. Ask God to help me. God, give me the strength. God, I know this is my defining hour. God, I know this is my test. This is the victory. I know I can get the victory out of this. I know I can pass the test. I know I got to pass it. Ask God to give you the strength, give you the insight to pass your test. I hope this makes sense. God bless you. Have a good day.